everyone and welcome to my channel today I am doing a makeup challenge inspired by Nikki tutorials called doing my makeup using only my fingers that is right I am not using a sponge I'm not using any brushes to do my makeup needless to say this is gonna be interesting to say the least um my niece Madison is here she is relaxing in the chair, just chilling out. Today's a chill day. We're doing uh, lazy day. <laughs> yeah, lazy day today. <laughs> she, does, she has a poop emoji blanket. It's got like multicolored poop emojis on it. It's really cool. Um, so, uh, basically, I'm going to do my makeup just using my fingers. I think this is going to be very interesting. And very funny to say the least. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. So, with that in mind, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull my hair back with my headband. Uh, yeah, they're in the door uh, for the radar. Oh, are they on the counter? Okay. See, this is how we're, how real we are. We talk about pickles and where they're at. Mm, hopefully that will work. I don't think it's going to, so I'll just take it out and just pull my hair back. Just put my hair back like that. It's very rare that I have my hair down. All right. First things first. Do I want to prime or no? Might as well. I need to get my NYX pore filler, which is right here. This part's easy. This part I use my hands with anyways. I love this stuff. I love, love, love this stuff. It is so good. It fills in those pores so my face ain't getting all whacked out. Oh. Awesome. So, we're done with that. Next. We're going to use my Wet n Wild primer. Just need just a little tiny bit of it. Don't need too much. That noise you're hearing in the background of me pull up and stuff in is my case that I have for my makeup. And I have a three drawer big Sterilite bin for my makeup now. I have one shelf just for my makeup. Well, my loose makeup, or I guess you can say. My single pieces of makeup. And then I have a drawer for my palettes. And then my other drawer will be for my brushes when I start getting a whole new co a amount of brushes. A big amount of brushes. That's what I want to say. I totally don't want to because then it's more that I have to wash. And washing brushes ain't fun. All right. <laughs> now, I'm going to get my pressed powder out and get my concealer out. If I can find my concealer. Madison just had it. I don't know where she should do with it. Yeah, but before I put my concealer on, I'm going to go in with my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illuminator uh, TC Cream. I do not use foundations. Um, I think you've heard me say this before. I'm not big on foundations because they tend to break me out and I have really sensitive skin and I have not found a good foundation that does not break me out. So, if there are any out there that you guys recommend me sampling, then send me... Um, Put a comment in the comment box. See what I can see what can dazzle me. But for right now, I'm gonna use my CC cream. 
and this one is does have illumination in it so it does give a little shine oh Ooh. this is gonna be fun oh my god this is not so thick <laughs> oh, this is why I do not put my foundation on with my hands. Oh, God, it feels so cakey. Get down here on my chin, friend, so I don't look too jacked. We do not want to look jacked up. All right, just a little bit more to get on my big old forehead I got. Don't you laugh over there, Madison. <laughs> All right, I think we're pretty much covered. I feel cakey. Good thing I have my my trusty old makeup towel here with me. <laughs> All right, let me take a look in my mirror. Oh wow, that's really interesting. It looks like I went super crazy in on my hot, on my foundation. Oh my CC cream. Wow. Just wow. Yeah. Say wow, everybody. Wow. Anywho, now we're moving on to my foundation. I mean, my foundation. My concealer. But before I do that, I need to. Is this my color corrector? Yes. I need to color correct some stuff before I. Put my concealer on because I do have some dark circles even though I sleep all the time they're still there this ain't working with my finger I'm starting to think this was a bad idea <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about but I think this is starting uh, we do not, do not, uh, do not solicit other YouTube channels on my channel. We want people to watch me. Let's see if I can get some of this hyperpigmentation that I just started having above my lip. It's kind of not great. And I'm starting to think this was a bad idea because this color correction not working with my finger not really so now I'm gonna go in with my wet n wild come correct concealer and try to conceal some of this nastiness I got going on with my finger spread it out and then I'm gonna pat it down using my ring finger because that is the finger with the least amount of pressure well that will give you the least amount of pressure when you are applying your makeup there we go Get this hyperpigmentation going on. Yeah, yeah. Just one minute. 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Madison asked a very detailed question. So, mm, as far as the hyperpigmentation on my lip, it didn't really do much with my concealer. <sighs> Whatever. All right, now here comes the fun part. I am now going to attempt to set my face with my smooth pressed, smooth skin uh, pressed face powder from NYC with my hands. Oh, looks like I'm about ready to hit pan. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. Wow, this is a uh, very interesting. I'm just gonna tap it on the face. Just give it a nice little taps on the face. There, that powder really helps with that hyperpigmentation I got going on. I think this was a very bad idea. Thanks, Madison. Please chew with your mouth shut. All right. So this is what we got so far. Oh, uh, looks a little out there, but it's the best I can do, considering with what I'm working with or lack thereof. So now I'm. I'm going to attempt to do my eyebrows. People, yes, I do have eyebrows. They are very light because I am an original blonde, but I do have eyebrows. So, with that in mind, we are now going to try and attempt to do a liner with my pencil and a lighter. No, I'm not gonna set my face on fire. I am going to try to gel the liner down put it on my finger and then try to do my brows with my finger. It would not be fair if I just take this pencil, granted I'm not using a brush or anything, it would not be fair if I just took this pencil and went chee 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 chee. No, that's cheating. So, I'm gonna attempt to do it the other way. Hopefully this will work. And kids, please make sure you let your parents do this. Do not do this on your own. Put it on my finger. Alright. I don't know if this is going to work, but we shall try. Ooh. Not too bad. There's an eyebrow here on my finger. I just dropped my palettes that I was going to work with. Hopefully, they did not break. I'm glad you found that funny over there. My dad gets mad at me. It's actually working pretty good. It's actually working. It's actually really good. Actually working really good. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's do the other one. You don't want to put a scorching hot liner on your finger. 
because you don't want to go to the ER because you don't burned yourself with a liner. Okay. I'm not getting mad at it. It's actually kind of working. It's not that bad. Alright, now just rub out the rest. Huh. Not too bad. Now, as I stated before in one of my other videos, my left eyebrow has a natural arch to it. My right eyebrow is just like, I'm just going to go to sleep. So that one does not have a natural arch, but I'm not mad at this. I think it looks pretty good. Not bad. All right, that part's done. Yeah. She does live in Europe. All right. Now I'm going to Madison. Can you come pick up these palettes, please? Now I'm going to prime my eyes with my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. Make sure I wiped off my finger really good. So, uh, actually I can put them right here. So then, uh, I'm not, oh yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. I know. All right. I love this primer. It's actually really good. I find it funny I'm doing all this priming and stuff, and you, you know what, I'm probably just going to take this off as soon as I'm done recording. Because I highly doubt it Madison's going to want to see be seen out in public with me looking like this. Alright. Alright, now we got our eyes done. Let's think about what we're going to do. Um... I have both my Urban Decay electric palette, which actually, this just came in the mail. I know it's been out for a while, but it's new to me. All right. Just a piece of paper in there. And play with my Moon Dust palette as well. See, I wanna kinda of have like a sparkly kinda of look today, probably. So, I think I'm going to go with, I think I want to, oh, let's take this brush out. Peace out, brush. I think I'm going to go in, I need to set my base first. So, I think I'm going to set my base with this NYX Ultra Pearl. Eye, eyeshadow. I know it's loose. Oh. Whoops. I was a little too loose. Thank God my makeup towel was in my lap. Because <laughs> otherwise I would have had a hot mess. Alright, so I'm going to put this on from my eyelid to my eyebrow. Ooh, that's a lot that just came out. There we go. Oh, this is like so funny. Okay. There we go. We got a nice little pearlized thing going on. Now I can toss that back in the bin. Score! All right, let's go ahead and start with, let's start with Gonzo. And I'm gonna attempt to put this in the crease of 
of my eye and try to blend it out really good. Ooh, that pearl eyes is bright. A lot brighter than what I thought it was gonna be. My makeup looks terrible. My face, look, my face looks terrible. I'm creasing like crazy, but yeah, that is true. All right, um, this did not go how I wanted it to, but we're going to work with it. I guess we'll just go for a blue look today. All right. I think this looks good. I think it's not too bad. All right, I gotta blend it out somewhat. Blend it out as good as I can. I'm afraid I'm just gonna like take it off, but I'm not. A little bit more right here. There we go. I'm gonna try to make this as simple as I can on myself. All right, now to do the other eye, I'll be right back. I promise I'm only gonna use my finger. Be right back, trust me, because she'll tell I only use my finger. Okay, and I'm back. Um, Why it went a little bit more messy on my left side than my right side, I have no idea. But it's a little messy, and I'm having a hard time cleaning it up. Wow, that's very special. Um, but yeah. Clean up my fingers along the way. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go into my Moon Dust palette and go in with Vega and put a little shimmer on my lids. Lot of fallout underneath my eye. See? Forehead itches. Probably with all the makeup I have on it. Alright, now my left eye. Alright. A little bit more. Here we go. I look like a hot mess. All right. It's worse on my left eye than what it is on my right eye, and I don't get that. All right. I think it looks good so far. It's getting there. So now I'm going to take my tart tardiest mascara and attempt to put some mascara on these lashes because no people I do not wear falsies they hurt my eyes they weigh down my eyes and it makes me feel like I have spiders on my eyes and that is not cool so I'm gonna attempt to put some mascara on these lashes using my finger So I'm just going to take some of this mascara. And of course you probably want to do this while it's still wet. I'm going to set this down right there. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to just rub it. Just kind of curl up my lashes. 
it's not working. This ain't working. Actually, there it goes. There's a little bit on there, not too much, but a little bit. A little bit we can work with. Now I'm just going to dip the brush back in and do it for the other side. Yes, you definitely have to do this while the mascara is very wet on your fingers. Definitely. But, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this at all. Hmm. I don't think it looks too bad. Alright, now, I'm going to go in... I'm going to go back in with, I don't think I want moon dust, but I'm going to go in, back in with Gonzo in my electric palette and try to put a little bit underneath my eye. And I'm going to use that using my pinky. work very well. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't think under my eye is going to work, but we always have a solution. Let's see here. I am going to take my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner Put it on my pinky nail and try to get under, get under there really good. Definitely still want to do this while it's wet. Set that right there. Okay, that works a lot better. You get an eyelash in my eye. That's not cool. There. Prevented that disaster. It's not too bad. Oh. Houston, we have a problem. Okay. Now I'm going to try to smudge this out as best as I can. There we go. Not going to hate on it at all. Not going to hate on it at all. I'm going to go back in with my Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder and just kind of clean it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and do the other eye. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating the look. I mean, it's the best I can do using my fingers. I'm going to smudge this out. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Just 
clean it up a little bit. All right. Not too bad. Could be a lot better if I was using a brush, but I'm not. So this is what we're stuck with. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go do my cheeks. I'm going to start with my milk holographic stick. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to start with my Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is the new one I have. It is in shade Apricot in the middle. Because as you guys know, I am not a fan of pinky blushes. Throw that janky brush in there. All right. Hmm. I'm not hating that. That looks good. All right. Now to do the other cheek. Just a little bit more. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm not hating it. Not loving it, but I'm not hating it. So now I'm going to go in with my Milk Holographic Stick. It's brand new to me. I'm so excited. And I am going to apply this to my highlight area. I'm going to put it on my fingers and just kind of dab it. Because I heard it's very tacky. And it actually is. Ooh, look at that highlight. All right. That looks really good. Now to do my other cheek. All right. That looks amazing. We're going to go down my nose. Put some on my nose. Cupid's bow. A little bit on my chin. Woo! I'm blinding. Now I'm going to actually set this because it's still like really tacky on my skin. I'm going to set this using my Jeffree Star Skin Frost Highlighter in Deep Freeze. Look how big this is. If I can get it open. Look how big this is. It's like... The size of my eye area. If I go around looking like this. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just kind of pat it where that milk highlighter is. Because this is very, very blue as you can see. Now I'm going gonna, gonna to blend it. Blending is your friend when you're just using your fingers. There we go. So it's not as blue and it doesn't look like I rubbed a smurf on my face. Now I'm gonna, that's too much. Now I'm going to do the other side. Just kind of tap it. And then blend it. Yep. And then blend it in. There we go. Not too bad. I'm not really hating this right now. I'm not loving it. Because my eyes are horrendous. But I'm not hating it. So now last but not least. All I need is some lipstick. And I think I'm going to keep up with the blue theme. And use... Where 
Red Rover, Red Rover, where is my blue lipstick? Let me use my Climax lipstick from ColourPop. Hmm? So now I'm going to put it on my finger. I know what you guys are saying. Just put it on your lips like this. Nope. It's a finger only challenge, so I'm not doing it. One. There's two. Just one more coat, I think, is going to do it. Actually, I'm doing three. To give me my full effect. <laughs> there we go. Alright, clean this up. There we go. Clean this up with my fingers because we're not using a brush. And there we go. Try to clean up this uh, left side a little bit more. There. It sucks because I used to have a piercing right here and it gets in that hole gets in the way. So there we go. I think this look turned out pretty good for just using my hands. My hands are dirty as all, and I have makeup in my nails, but hey, I guess that's what we do for beauty, right? But this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and join our family. We have fun here. I am also on Facebook as Melissa Leah Garrett. My Facebook profile is private. So first, I will see if you are a robot or a scammer. And then if you are legit, I will accept your friend requests. We have fun on my Facebook too. Also, I'm on Snapchat as Melissa Leah 1223 and Instagram at Melissa Leah Garrett. I do not, however, have a Twitter. So if you see a Twitter account out there with my lovely face on it, report it because it's fake. I will see you next time. I hope you guys have a great night.